What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today, we're back on some Xbox as always, and I've got a track here that is one that I don't know how many people really have paid much attention to. Now, whilst I was away for about four or so days, usually I expect to come back to a good amount of tracks being uploaded while I was gone, but both on MXB Mods and MXB Shop, there has been nothing at all. So I, I'm telling you, it's exactly what I said in a previous video where I swear all the track creators are on this same cycle and you get a bunch of tracks released in the same week and then you don't, don't get anything the next week and then back and forth and back and forth. Uh, so what I've done, we've done some digging through the archives and I think this is on about page four on the MXP Mods tracks page and there's I think there's like 30 something pages in total. Um, so for those people that moan about page tracks by the way, you've got 30 plus pages of free tracks so just go dig in go and have a look this is Otto Biano Motorsports this is a track that was I believe imported from MX Simulator um, by Nico who is the owner of the uh, my MXB website where we do all of our racing through so big shout out to Nico and it's a track that I have played many 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 moons ago but don't believe I've ever done a video on and what I'm going to be doing today as well, which is going to be a little bit of a, a test, is I don't know how well you can hear it. However, this track is full sand. Now, with the release of the Beta 18 OEMs and updates, we got like new sand tyres and things like that, which I've never put to the test properly. So we're just going to see how the traction is, see how it handles, and see if sand tracks really are viable again. And Otto Biano, I think, is a really fun track. It doesn't matter what game you play in, it's always quite wide open, very, very fast pace. I'm on the 450 Yamaha today, just because sand, you know, trying to get as much power as possible. I think anything below a 450 on sand on this game at the moment is just not that enjoyable. So that's that's the reasoning behind that. Um, I wanted to give a little shout out as well. You'll notice the gear that I'm running is not my normal gear. Um, I didn't want to make an entire video just dedicated to this subject because I felt like it might have been a little bit scummy. Uh, however, uh, for those of you that aren't aware, I, I did mention it in my live stream uh, yesterday in Supercross at Seattle. However, uh, Fraser, aka Fraz333, has passed away. Now, I didn't want to do much digging in regards to the reasoning or exact times and things like that. Uh, Wes of Ace Moto put out a really nice message in the Ace Moto Discord, um, just kind of showing love for Fraz. And it sounds like he was a very, very important member of that community. He helped a lot with Ace Moto and getting all of the series up from the ground running. Uh, for a little bit of background on him, he was the real life owner of Drumclog Moto Park which is a track that we actually have in MX Bikes that he commissioned to be made. So he put his own money into it to get his real track into the game, and it's an incredibly fun track. Uh, again, I, I could have done an entire video just on that track, but I have played the track in the past before, so I thought it would just come off as a little bit, I don't know, just scummy in some sort of way. But I just wanted to give a little mention to Fraz because he was a viewer of the channel. He often left comments here and there. He even uh, went as far as inviting me to go and ride his track for free in real life. So just a really stand-up guy. And he will definitely be best in this community. So much respect, much love to him. And my thoughts and prayers are with you. So if you could just maybe do a hashtag for Fraz in the comments down below. Just anything little would be really, really nice. Uh, a bunch of us ran his gear right here for the air round 11 of the aerial championship to show some sort of respect as well. And I even got McChicken to uh, slap a little uh, four fraz on my bike here, if you can see that just above my Great Britain flag. So just, just little touches to show some sort of respect. And I, I was saying on stream that uh, MX bikes can certainly be a toxic community. You know, every community can. But what I really love when something like this happens and the whole community comes together uh, no one was being a dick about it at all. I've seen no horrible, nasty comments. Everyone's been really, really nice and supportive. And I just love that. So thank you, everyone, for being so kind as well. And I'm sure he is looking down on everyone, really, really appreciative. And just, again, it's very, very, very sad to see. Um, so coming back to this track here, it's... Uh, it does say it's a beta track. I don't know if it's completely finished. I, for some reason, I've got in my head the... Uh, the timing gates weren't working properly last time I tried it. However, all seems to be fine right now. There's got to be something wrong. Maybe there's something wrong with cuts, something along those lines, because I never, ever, ever see this track played by anyone. I never see it mentioned in any series at all. And I don't know why, because it, again, it is a really, really fun track. It's one that I've had quite a bit of luck, actually, or quite a bit of a good showing in Sim when I've raced it. It's always a track that I've raced well at. And. I just, I'd like to do a race on it on Sim. Definitely keep it to 450s. I think, I don't know if it's the tyres or the traction itself, but sand, I think, needs working on in some way. I mean, 
one thing that definitely needs changing is the, the sound. I, I hate the sound when you're riding on sand in this game. It just kind of it destroys my ears. I don't know what it is. And I don't know whose idea it was to slap this horrible noise in there. It, it kind of gives me PTSD in a way. I don't know if you remember back when the game used to be really, like, it just used to be really susceptible to game crashes on sand. When you'd crash, maybe your bike bounced on its side a little bit, and there'd always be game crashes. You'd get a horrible, like, loud sand noise, and then you'd just close the desktop without a chance at all. Uh, Oz was a massive, um, <laughs> massive copper of this being a full soundtrack as well. And I might do some digging through the old archives a little bit. That's two laps in a row, I've just done that. <laughs> I might do some digging through the archives a little bit more um, for upcoming videos, because I, I feel like there's definitely some hidden gems out there. Having a big scroll back, uh, like the super, super old tracks I've already covered, you know, just making general videos like the oldest Supercross track and MX Bikes and so on and so forth. Um, I've covered a lot of the old, old stuff. I mean, really just to compare to what tracks are like now to tracks are like back then. There's that little middle ground of old tracks that aren't very modern, but they're not super, super old. Now, I think there's a little bit of a period before MX Bikes really took off on Steam and got super, super popular. There's a bunch of tracks that don't get given a lot of love, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll make it some sort of a series, just digging through, seeing what tracks I can find, and showing them off to you guys. And I know that you guys are always enjoying seeing me play some free tracks now and then as well. But like a lot of track reviews, well, I say reviews, they're not reviews, I just ride around and talk a load of like crap the entire time, but uh, I feel like a lot of my track walks and things like that these days, they tend to be more on the paid ones, because I just generally, I enjoy them more. I, I feel like when you pay for them things, you're more inclined to play them more yourself. Uh, you can kind of almost guarantee that good quality of track as well. So when you do get free tracks like this that are really, really fun to play, you need to kind of make a bit of a bit of a noise about it make him make it worthwhile let's get people to listen and maybe get some races going on in the near future i'll, I'll certainly add this one to the list of uh, tracks that we can do on stream that's for sure now you guys should be watching this video on saturday I, I, i'm 99 percent sure now before i went away i did make comments about doing minecraft streams like minecraft survival stream and everything now i Again, I'm 99% sure that I will be doing that this weekend. So either the evening of Saturday or the evening of Sunday, you're, you're going to get to see that all from start to finish, which should be quite exciting. I am by no means a Minecraft veteran. I, I mean, I've been around, I've had the game for years and years and years, and I think I'm probably in the same boat as 99% of people, where maybe once a year you get the urge to grind it for a week or two, and then you don't touch it until the next year. That That is me. So there's a lot that I don't know about the game. Um, so please be nice, please. <laughs> but we're going to give it a go. We're going to see how it goes. I feel like the reception so far has been pretty good and a few people have been asking about it since I mentioned it. But now I'm home, I can do it. Um, I, I can't lie. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but my voice is almost gone. Uh, I, I came home today, I'm recording this on Friday, and it was about a five hour drive. There was a little bit of traffic compared to usual, so it took slightly longer than it usually would. I then got home at 6pm my time. I then had to download the track and stream the aerial race from 8 p.m. through to 10:30 ish p.m. and now i'm recording a video straight after that because i realized that i have no video for saturday so if my voice has gone slightly i do apologize it's been an interesting week you know i mean i'm, I'm quite good i'm very happy i'm just very very tired i've done a fair amount of driving kind of going here and everywhere but if you want to listen to something very very sad so uh, me and my girlfriend we absolutely love the restaurant byron they are a burger place they sell very 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 nice burgers probably the best burgers i've ever had in my life they're super super nice I actually make them like they should do you know they make the burgers like medium rare so it's pink on the inside rather than you know, like a typical fast food McDonald's or whatever, where it's just cooked to an inch of its life. Um, it's really, really nice. However, about, I'm saying half, maybe more of the locations in the UK all shut down. Uh, so there was none near me or near my girlfriend at all. So we literally, we drove for an hour just to eat at this bloody burger place. And I'm so glad we did. It was so nice. But I, it certainly made me tired because we went rock climbing before, took a spare change of clothes, got changed, went drive for an hour, had food, took an hour and a half to get home again, and it's just been a busy few days, you know, I've been a very, very busy man, here, there and everywhere, but I'm feeling good, that's, I think that's the most important thing, I just need some sleep, I, I mean, love my, uh, love my girlfriend to bits, she is absolutely amazing, but my god, is she awful to, to share a bed with, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else can relate to this at all, but if you have a particularly fidgety or noisy partner, but 
I, I don't sleep very well. I'm a very, very light sleeper myself. I feel like someone could break into her bedroom and steal a bunch of crap without even trying to be quiet, and she would sleep straight through it. She's a very, very heavy sleeper, complete polar opposites. So it's W for her and L for me. I, I never sleep well. I, I never have done with any of my uh, my partners in life. I've never managed to sleep well with them at all, but that's just me. Maybe, maybe one day. We, we'll see. I need to buy some earplugs. I, I, I've never had any proper earplugs. I've always had, like, you know, the really cheap little foam ones that you use once and then you have to throw away. I've only ever had them. I've never had, like, a proper pair of earplugs I can can do because a lot of them they, they end up hurting my ears after a while after sleeping in them especially if you sleep on your side rather than on your your back or your front so your head's constantly like leaning against your ear but I don't know maybe you guys have some recommendations of earplugs I mean you didn't think you'd ever hear that in an MX bikes video did you someone asking what bloody earplugs they should be wearing or not uh, but I just uh, I didn't have too much to really talk about in this video you know I mean videos are going really really well uh, streams have been going really really well as well the stream i've done on friday for supercross we still got over 400 people watching at one point and i really really did expect the streams to kind of die off viewership wise at this point in the season because i'm in a bit of a no man's land in the championship I'm, I'm in p2 i'm now 37 points behind hells who is in the lead and i'm 52 i think points ahead of p3 so I couldn't be more alone in the championship if I tried. And each round now seems to be like I'm just the best of the rest, you know, getting either P2 or P3 every single time behind Hells and Skills, depending on which class Skills wants to do on that day. He's kind of switching between 250 and 450. But I feel like I'm kind of accepting of it now, whereas in the past it would really, really annoy me that I'm not winning all the time like I did in the 2022 season. I'm just trying to enjoy the game a bit more. Either that or I'm just too tired to really care about losing anymore, which sounds really bad to say, but I honestly think it might be true. But I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that stopped by on that Friday stream. It was dedicated uh, to Fraz, and everyone was really, really lovely. We didn't get any of the normal arguments or bickering or anyone just being a dick in general. Everyone was super nice and showed lots of support, which I love to see. Very, very heartwarming stuff, which sometimes you don't really expect to see from communities like the Bikes one. So thank you to everyone. Thank you to you guys for watching. It's a shorter video than usual. I'm not ashamed to admit that it's a little bit of a rushed one. It's currently 10.46pm and the NA qualifying starts in about an hour if I'm even going to do it. Maybe I'll pass out of sleep before then. Who knows? I just, I need to sleep. I'm going to have such a long lane tomorrow. It's unreal. And then back to the gym grind. You know, I only went to the gym once while I was away. Need to really get back on it. Start uh, pushing myself as hard as possible because I was slacking food wise. Uh, me and my girlfriend are partial to uh, the occasional Domino's or McDonald's whilst we're we're together. So back on the grind, chicken, broccoli, gym, repeat. <laughs> that's that's just going to be my life for the next month or so. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're up to. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.